Assalamu alaikum and good morning students. Today I am here with the third part of the series Introduction to Coordinate Geometry. Attainment target which we will discuss here is distance formula to calculate distance between two ordered pairs. Now watch the next clip to understand the topic. We saw how we could find the length of a line which was neither parallel to the x-axis nor parallel to the y-axis. But the procedure to find the length was a bit lengthy. To avoid repeating the same procedure again, we can generalize the formula to find the length of such a line. Let one of the endpoints be A, x1, y1 and B, x2, y2. To get the length of AB, we need to form a triangle in which AB is the hypotenuse. So we drop a perpendicular to the x-axis and then draw another perpendicular to BC. So the coordinates of point D would be x2, y1. x2 will be here on the x-axis and y1 will be here on the y-axis. Now we find the lengths of AD and BD and then use Pythagoras theorem to find the length of AB. Since BD is parallel to the y-axis, it will equal the absolute value of y2 minus y1. And since AD is parallel to the x-axis, it will equal absolute value of x2 minus x1. Using the Pythagoras theorem in this triangle, we get AB squared equals AD squared plus BD squared. Substituting these values, the expression will equal x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. So length of AB will be the square root of the addition of these two. Now the formula has been generalized. All we need to know is the coordinates of the two endpoints and we can just feed it into this formula. Notice that x1 and y1 are coordinates of point A and x2 and y2 are coordinates of point B. This, by the way, is called the distance formula. I am sure you understand the application and derivation of distance formula. Now we will solve few examples on Khan Academy to further clear your concept. Now here is the question, what is the distance between minus 6, 8 and minus 3, 9? We have to apply the distance formula here. Now, first of all, you have to mark that your x, uh, x coordinates and y coordinates. This one is your x1 and this one is your x2. And this one is your y1 and this one is 9 is your y2. Now we will apply the formula, the distance is equals to under root x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1 and the square of both the brackets. So x2 minus x1 means minus 9 minus minus 6. So that the answer is 3 plus 3 so 3 square plus now 9 minus 8 is 1 and 1 square so 3 square is 9 9 plus 1 10 so the answer is under root 10 now answer is check your we will check the answer this is yes it's a correct one now do the next one now we will see as if the two points on the graph are given in the last question the only the coordinates were given the graph was not given now here the graph is given and they are asking you to find out the distance between two points on the graph. Now, if you will look at this one, again, the x-coordinate of this point is 4. 
and the x coordinate of this point is 8 so we will apply the distance formula d is equals to again x2 minus x1 sphere plus y2 minus y1 sphere so 8 minus 4 that is 4 square plus now the y coordinate of this point is 5 and the y coordinate of this point is 2 so 5 minus 2 this one is 3 this one is 3 square so 4 square is 16 and 3 square is 9 so this is under root 25 root 25 under root 25 we know that it's 5 check your answer yes it's good now we have seen that if only the coordinates are given how to find out the uh, distance between the, those coordinates or if the graph is given and the points are given on the graph then then in that case how we will calculate the distance between two points these are the links for the online practice these links are also given in the description of this video. For written practice, you can solve questions from supplement pack. This is all about distance formula. In the next video, we will discuss perpendicular and parallel lines. Till then, goodbye.